Hello, I am excited to announce Aurora HDR 2017. Uh, you can order it right now. We're about to go back to my studio where I'll show you my favorite new features, but first let me give you a little bit of history. So I've been doing HDR for over the last eight years. I love it, I'm obsessed, I love the feeling it gives the photos. And so I've always wanted to build my own HDR software. About two years ago, I teamed up with my friends at MacFun to build what I consider to be the ultimate HDR software. And apparently some of you agree. Uh, we have over 750,000 downloads, which is an unbelievable number. Thank you so much. And what we've been doing over the past two years is collecting all of your feedback, all of your ideas, and now we've integrated all of those and more into this new product. Let's go back to my studio and you can see what's going on. I know you keep staring at my shirt. Try not to do that. It's very HDR, isn't it? Let's go back to the studio. And welcome back to the studio. All right, I'm just going to take a moment here and show you some of my favorite new features from Aurora HDR 2017. I have many other videos where I talk about tips and tricks, uh, some of the old features that have evolved have been upgraded, some of the basics of Aurora HDR 2017, if you don't know. And I'll link to all those videos at the end of this one, all right, so you can kind of take a deeper dive on your own. First, we'll get started with these three basic brackets, all right? You don't have to put in bracketed stuff. You can put in a single raw photo if you want to, but we'll use three brackets in this case. All right, we'll turn on alignment and ghost reduction and create HDR. Now it's asking me which one should be the main one since there's ghosting and the grasses were moving. Uh, by default, it picks the middle one, which is what I want. Create HDR. All right, welcome in, welcome in. Come on in, the water's warm. Actually, this was a lake in New Zealand. The water was incredibly cold. Do not go in that water. Uh, but you can see there's a whole new look for Aurora HDR 2017. The basic elements are the same, it's just cleaner and a lot more organized with a lot more features, okay? We still have all the different uh, presets down here below. Uh, you can choose different kinds of presets like uh, landscape presets. My presets come with it, for example. One of the biggest new sliders, this is hot stuff right here, is this HDR look that's right there at the top. This is a totally different HDR algorithm, okay? So, of course, if you slam it up to the right, it gets a little bit more cartoony, right? If you slam it over to the left, it becomes more realistic. But you can see how it's almost real time as you move this stuff back and forth, so it's great. So this will immediately kind of give you that HDR look that you like. And that may be all you need to do, and now you can export it and save it, and you're done. Here's another cool new feature. It's luminosity masking, which is very confusing to most people, which I, I understand, I understand. Let me just go through it very briefly right here, all right? So if I click here on luminosity masking, I have access to all the different levels of light. Let's just say that I wanna grab the brightest areas, okay? So I'm gonna click 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, okay? And so that's like the brightest 50%, which is distributed all around the picture. All right, then I'll click check. Now, I'm only going to be adjusting those bright areas, right? And let's say I just wanted to adjust the HDR look of the brightest 50%, which I'm doing right now. Really cool, I won't adjust the ground at all. And of course, any of the controls, there are so many controls inside Aurora HDR 2017, all of these controls will only act based on those brightest 50% of what you chose, all right? Uh, you can also do it up here, by the way. You can choose different areas here uh, based on the, the histogram, and that can be your new luminosity mask. And the last thing, one of the hottest things people want to know about is batch processing. So when you load up Aurora HDR, you click down here on batch processing, okay? You can drag images in here, and it's very smart, because all you have to do is point it to a directory, like here, batch files, and it'll go in there and root around and figure out all the brackets for you. You're gonna have sets of two, sets of seven, sets of nine. It could be a mixture, whatever you might wish. Um, click continue. And here's where you have a massive amount of control. You choose where you're gonna export it to. You can have it align and do ghost reduction. Um, you can have it do different kinds of uh, presets, for example. So you might pick an architecture preset and then pick one of the basics like uh, architecture realistic, for example, all right. Uh, choose the image format. Uh, you can name it however you want to. Extremely powerful, all right? And actually, I have a whole other um, little tutorial video on presets as well. All right, well, that was just a little amuse-bouche. Uh, I'm excited about this thing. I've been using it nonstop and testing it. I uh, hope you guys love it as much as I do. Thank you. Thank you for watching. All right, you've got three choices. You go grab the new Aurora HDR, or you get the bundle. That is a nice, long tutorial 
or maybe go check out my new presets. All right, thanks.